We're live. Hey, y'all. I am Jacqueline Joyce. If you guys are on my channel, you guys know who I am. I started to talk about stuttering, and I just wanted to do a really, really quick update. Um, not, not even an update. I just wanted to do a really quick live because I've been following the debates and uh, all of the haywire craziness that's going on and all of that. And, of course, yesterday, Sarah Sanders... Sarah Huckabee Sanders, excuse me. Let me just be more specific. After the uh, Dem debate where, of course, Joe Biden, who stutters, was um, in the debate and there was a moment where he spoke about, you know, how he stuttered and how children would come up to him and and ask for help or, or, or any sort of... Um, any sort of, um, oh my gosh, why is this word leaving my mind at the moment? Any sort of um, recommendations that he has for overcoming it, more so because a lot of people who stutter look up to him as someone who has, you know, like really like overcome stuttering, which is a whole other topic. I made a video about what overcoming stuttering really is and how a person can only be considered successful if they don't stutter anymore, if they overcome it and it's no longer a problem. And clearly that rings true because if you still have a stutter, people like Huck, Sarah Huckabee, which is such a weird middle, is, is that her middle name, Huckabee? That must be like a hyphenate lat name or something, but because people like Sarah Sanders will come at you in a tweet. And she literally wrote the tweet. I don't even know if you, you guys see that. I, 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 I have absolutely no idea what Biden is talking about. I just read that backwards. And she wrote it with a stutter when this man was literally talking about helping children who stutter. And he's literally talked about stuttering over this past, like, yeah, she's Senator Mike Huckabee's daughter. Right. But the Sanders must be her husband's name. See, this is, this is just to let you know how detached from the process I've been as of late because it's just been so insane. And I've always been on top of, like, I'm the type of person who votes in, in primaries and I stay on top of it all the time. I stay on top of, like, local elections and, of course, these bigger ones, though I do believe the smaller ones are far more important, but I just haven't been paying attention more so because we have so many candidates still. And also because like there's there's just so much fluff flying above and none of it's real. Nothing, nothing is tangible at this moment. And so I'm just not paying attention until we get a little bit closer. Um, you know, what's the worst? She has zero creativity. How many times have I heard that? Right, 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 facts. <laughs> Facts, one thing that I hate <laughs> about fluent people who make stutter jokes is that all y'all make the same damn joke. Y'all can't be creative for nothing. That is like my, like, like, if anything, give me a joke that I've never heard. I did stand up for a very short amount of time. But when I walked off stage one time, this host made a joke that had me dying. And so, but like, it was a joke about a person who stutters. And I'm going to butcher it, but he said, um, he said, um, that was Jacqueline. She's black and she stutters. And so that means when the credits are rolling, she's still yelling at the movie screen. Now, yes, that joke is a bit stereotypical. 
bit cold, but like it's it hits you from two areas. The fact that I'm black, the fact that I stutter, it was so original at that moment. And it was just like, ah, that's a good one. That's good. I like that one. Okay, so but Sarah Huckabee Sanders, yes, her um her, her father is Mike Huckabee. He's a senator. He's a Republican senator, I believe, right? Um, and so Joe Biden, he actually just had an interview in the post that was done by a person who stutters. This person was then on a bunch of um a bunch of, of news channels like MSN, MSNBC, talking about being a person who stutters, then interviewing Joe Biden who stutters. And like Joe Biden is like finally coming out to the public about the fact that he stutters. And then we have some ignorant ish like this. And I'm like, girl. And then she later apologized and then retracted it. But like from the behavior that I've seen of Sarah Huckabee Sanders, over the years since we've been in this administration. I'm neither surprised. And I also feel like this is just a part of her nature. This is just a part of who she is as a person. To um, And like the fact that he specifically spoke out about stuttering at the debate, talked about how young children would come up to him asking for help and then write, I, 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 I have no idea what, Biden is talking about, you're not only mocking him and his speech impediment, you're mocking the children who are seeking him out for help. Yeah. Um, the people who are like seeking him out for help, the people who identify with exactly what he's going through. And you're just showing that you have a very mean spirit, which I mean, we already know. And I know that she apologized and she said, you know, I actually didn't know that about you and that it's commendable and I apologize and I should have made my point more respectfully. You should make every single point that you make more respectfully. Let's just be honest. You should make every single point that you make more respectfully because I haven't gotten a respectable point from you for the last three and some odd years. Um, but then on top of that, right, like play your tiny violin. I'm so sorry. Like, it just rubs me the wrong way. Um, but it also just kind of speaks on the way that stutterers are viewed and how we're how we've always been viewed as such an a a a easy target that even people with like these huge roles in our country and our system are just making jabs at people who started like it's nothing like it's just every day even even if she didn't know that biden stutters the fact that she even wrote that tweet the fact that she took the time to make fun of anything that resembles a stutter, just kind of really lets 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 us know that I mean she's just God. I wish I could be more eloquent. It is far too early, but it just lets it. It has always let me know that she was coming from a heartless place. That 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 she has no respect for the challenges of other people. Even if Biden did not stutter, the fact that she put that tweet out the way she did, you can still apologize. But the fact is that no matter what, if you apologize or not, you put that tweet out mocking a person who stutters, whether you knew Biden stuttered or not. It was still a tweet mocking a person who stutters. And I don't, honestly, I don't expect more. I don't expect more from society overall. Um, I know I've personally been in like situations where I was a friend with someone, but as soon as like we didn't agree about something or we weren't on the same page, the first, the first thing that she did was target 
my stutter. And that seems to be very normal for fluent people. Um, it's not something that they would do for someone who is in a wheelchair. The first thing you wouldn't say to someone in a wheelchair that makes you mad is like, oh, well, you can't walk or, or use whatever derogatory terms are out there to then, you know, associate that person with, because that would, you would then be frowned upon. You would then be considered a bad person, but because stuttering at this moment, still one of those things that people can toss up and then no one condemns them for making a mockery of it. Shit like that can happen. And this is, I guess, why I'm here for visibility and to have these open dialogues and conversations about stuff like that. But um, yeah, people always show you their true selves, but like Sarah Huckabee Sanders has been showing us her true self since she's been in office. Um, skirting, like like I, I used to watch the uh, de debriefing sessions where all of the reporters would ask her the questions. I know that this has an actual like term and I'm not using it correctly, but y'all just gonna have to deal with me for the moment. Um, and like, she was always just so incredibly curt and, and just not, seems like she hated her job. I know fact checkers would fact check her all the time and just, she would be wrong all the time. And I'm just and like, it, and when you don't have faith in the administration right now, you just tend to just lose all interest in it. And I've completely lost all interest in it. Um, I'm a stutter from Columbia and still her tweet got me offended. Yeah. If the people with high charges don't respect us, what should we respect? What should we expect from the common people? Exactly. Like if, if, if people who have the top ranking positions in our country are out here making a mockery of, of the, he, he, he was our vice president. Biden was our vice president not too long ago. If you're out here making a mockery of someone who held an office higher than yours and, you know, who is currently trying to obtain the highest office in our country right now, and you're out here making a mockery of the way he speaks, which absolutely has nothing to do with how he would govern this country as a president. You're just out here being a mean girl. She's just a fucking mean girl. And, you know, like, you know that this sort of stuff happens in high school. People don't grow up from high school. People continue living their lives as high school adults, which I have learned in my adulthood is that if nothing forces you to change the way you act, then you'll act the exact same way for the rest of your life. And I'm assuming that the fact that like, Sarah Huckabee is a privileged white woman from a privileged background. Her father is a senator, so she grew up in this political landscape. She never really had a lot of, um, of, um, she never really had a lot that would force her to change who she is. I'm sure a lot was handed to her there outside of the um trials of being a woman in a high power field which is most likely why she's also a bit garish and her personality is just one to expect more of um like she's she's probably just the exact same person that she was and that makes me feel bad for her children. Like I re remember when, um, God, there's been so many effing mass shootings that I don't even know which one it was. But she, she, um, she was at a press conference and one of the reporters was like, what if these were your children? What if these were your kids? And she just stood there with the stone face. And I, a part of me feels for her because I know that she can't be completely stoned. She, she, you, you can't just be a horrible human all the time. But, and maybe she can't express those emotions. I'm trying to like 
see this from her perspective also, but when you're a white woman in America, you have very few things that are again to you. The only thing that she technically has against her is the fact that she is a white woman, but she is in very close proximity to white men. Um, so now look at me. I am a I am black, I am a woman, I am in America, and I'm disability. How can I expect someone like Sarah to understand me? I absolutely can't. I absolutely can't. And this, and and it's glaring when things like this happen. Because Joe Biden is not the only person in this world who stutters. There are people who have far more, I don't even want to call it affliction because I don't think being black is an affliction. Being black in America is, being black in this world is really. But like, there, there are people who have more struggles on top of just her one struggle. And, and to see how she so carelessly and flippantly made fun of it is just frustrating. But a lot of people went in her, um, tweeted her and was like, girl, stop it. And then she deleted her tweet because she realized that she was wrong, which is a step in the right direction. So I guess in the end, that's all I can ask for. You guys are all up in my comment section. Hey, y'all. Um, facts, she's a bully who can't fight. Right. Tell her to square up. I, I can't fight either. I have very floppy wrists, so just wouldn't work. Um, I commend you for trying to humanize her, but she's a jerk. She is a jerk, but like there's... There's perspectives to everything, but I think her perspective is just she's a spoiled brat. Um, so Preston was asking, what did she say? So he tweeted it. So Biden were talk, was talking about stuttering and how he, um, and like how, how he stutters and like how young people who stutter have come up to him and ask, you know, for help and to just talk to him about how he's overcome his stutter, which he very much so is still a person who stutters. He hides it very well. He switches words. He gets stuck a lot, which is why some people think that he's a bit senile, but he's not. He just has a speech impediment. Um, but she wrote, I, 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 Dim, dim debate. And so she pretty much mocked Joe from when he was talking about um, his experience as a person who stutters and also young children who stutter coming up to him and asking for advice. She has since deleted her tweet and has since issued an apology um so when she tweeted that joe then said i've worked my whole life to overcome a stutter and it's my great honor to mentor kids who have experienced the same it's called empathy look it up and then he attached sarah huckabee's tweet she has um since apologized i don't think the apology is in here yeah yeah here it is she has since apologized saying to be clear I was not trying to make fun of anyone with a speech impediment, simply pointing out I can't follow much of anything Biden is talking about. Can't follow anything Biden was talking about. I could follow what Biden was talking about. You were just being a bitch. Um, she also wrote something out. Yeah, so she then replied to Biden saying, I actually didn't know that about you. And that is commendable. I apologize and should have made my point respectfully. Which also just lets her know that replying respectfully is not in her wheelhouse. Woo, that was a stutter. Wheelhouse. Like like she, she, uh, 
initially makes the choice to come from a place of um, mockery and snark. And I definitely know that that's not somebody that I want in my office. I know that I would love emotionally intelligent leaders, people who understand multiple points of views, who aren't stuck up and spoiled and just trying to get the next retweet. Emotionally intelligent leaders for 2020. That's really all I want. Uh, all right, y'all. I'm about to go to the gym. I just wanted to come on. Biden had been that Biden had been um, talking more about the fact that he stutters, and it's something that he's hidden for so long, and it's been such like a. a uh, freeing thing for him, and it's something that like he purposely hid because he wasn't sure how the public would respond, and because they would respond exactly the way she did, and then skirted back with an apology. But it is what it is. These are the people that are in office, have been hired and or elected, and this is just what we got to deal with. So, uh, shout out to more emotional intelligence in the future. All right. This was lovely. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm about to go get this workout on. Be great. Set her beautifully. See you on the next upload. Watch. I'm going to end the stream. It's going to take a minute to end. So, okay, there we go.